Okay, so let's have a look at the different blocks here, starting with motion. So we've already seen that motion can move our character or the cat or whichever sprite we have. We can get it to go to a random position. Let's do that. Let's take that there and put random position. Now, if I don't, you've seen that I've moved these over here. Nothing is going to happen with this, with this code or these blocks here. In fact, I can also get rid of them by doing this. And uh, it needs to be attached to something like when clicked or some kind of control. Uh, we have, I'm sorry, in events, we have when clicked, when I press this key, uh, when the sprite is clicked, a bunch of different things. So one of these needs to be at the top when you're asking the sprite to do something. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So we've got when clicked, go to random position. So when I do this, the cat will move somewhere. And we've still got this code happening on the backdrops. Now, if I get rid of that, it will just stay one color and we'll see the cat moving into a random position each time. Okay, so that's our motion. So we go to the looks and this is where we can change costumes. We can ask for the next backdrop and change what's going on behind our characters. Costumes are things that sprites have and backdrops, which are basically different versions of the same thing. What's happening with the cat here is this one costume and this is the original one. So I've already done something to the, uh, to the ears of the cat, but if we move between these two costumes, you'll see the legs are moving in the way it's going to run. So if we went back to the code and we took that random position off, put the cat in the middle and we did next costume. And then I said, wait, oh, 0.1 of a second. And then I duplicated that and duplicated that. We might see the cat quickly run. But our problem here is that it's only happening three times. Next, next, next. So we then quickly just jump down to control. Now, if I got a forever loop in here, you'll see this is one of the more powerful things in coding and in Scratch. The forever is a loop. So when I click this, the cat should keep moving between costumes every tenth of a second. Now it looks a bit funny because I've played with the ears, but you get the idea. So the cat looks like it's running. Anyway, we'll talk about forever loops in one second. Here's the sound. So you can have the cat um, talk. You can record something in. You can use any of the sounds which are available. And to do that, you can grab one of these and it will play when you click this. You can also go to sounds here and you can make it faster or slower or louder or softer. And if you go down here, you can choose different sounds. Okay. Events are how we start things. So when clicked, nothing is happening here with this code because it's not connected to the when clicked. When you click on the uh, different keys, this is super important because generally you might want to use the up, down, left, right arrows to control the character. And you can also broadcast and receive messages, which are kind of like a shout out across the whole program when you want to um, have one thing happen and for that to trigger a series of different events. All right, so control is also a very important one because we need the cat to do certain things. And a lot of the time you will use forever loops because you want something to keep happening until we ask it to stop. So that's essentially what a forever loop is. You put your code inside this one and then that thing will keep going on until there's another message. If and then, and this is something like if your score is this much, then that can happen. So if your score's at a certain amount, you can move on to the next level. And if then else is just a slightly more interesting way of saying, 
If the score is that much and your opponent's score is that much, then this happens. So it's an easy way of programming which is just a bit more efficient than writing if your score is this, if your opponent's score is this, and so on. 